A team at Capital Region Medical Center wor is working to improve their patients' independence at home. Ryan Rumba joins us live with more on this Wellness Wednesday. Good morning, guys. Yes, I'm at Capital Region Medical Center in Jefferson City, and we're talking about a great group of people that's helping some patients get back to the way they were. I'm here this morning with Amanda. Good Hi. morning. Good morning. Now, where are we at in the hospital? This is a little bit of a different area. It is probably something you're not used to mm -hmm. seeing. So this is the inpatient physical rehabilitation unit. Okay. Um, we have patients that come here and have kind of completed that circle. They've had some sort of life-altering event, a stroke, maybe mm -hmm. a joint replacement, or some sort of traumatic accident, and they've been through the ER and they've gotten surgery or have gotten stabilized so they come to us mm -hmm. to be able to get stronger to be able to go home yeah and I've been to other you know therapy type places mm -hmm. this is one where your patients are actually staying in the hospital for a long period of time right they are so our usually average length of stay is somewhere between tw uh, 10 and 14 days mm -hmm. sometimes though it's up to three weeks just depending on how debilitated they are mm -hmm. and how much strengthening they need before they go home so they're with us for a while yeah and then we were chatting you, you probably mm -hmm. get to know your patients pretty well huh? we do that's one of my favorite things things about it is you know you really get to meet the families and kind of see that progress from when they first come in and can't do anything mm -hmm. and they're with therapies and work really hard throughout their stay and by the end you really see their mobility improve and see them improve enough that they can go back home to their families right definitely yeah. so this is all about being able to function at home you want to get people back at home tell me uh -huh. what you do on a daily basis with your patients um, so I'm a registered nurse at the rehab unit um, we kind of help complete that circle so during the day the patients go to therapies mm -hmm. and do their workouts or exercises to get stronger but then after the therapies leave it's kind of up to us nurses and text the other staff to kind of help complete that circle the rest of the 24-hour period mm -hmm. um, so we help them sometimes when they're at their weakest when they're tired after their therapies you know so we really kind of help complete that 24 hour of therapy um, but we also take care of their medicines and manage those diseases that brought them here in the first place mm -hmm. whether it's after a stroke or they've had surgeries and then some of those other health histories such as diabetes hypertension we help yeah. manage those things as well yeah and I was taking a look around you know yeah. you have some some stairs set up a lot of this mm -hmm. looks like things that we might take for granted every day that, absolutely you know, people can't end up doing after something like that. Tell me about you yeah. know getting people back to doing those basic things in life. You know, I think it's really hard, and that's one of the hardest things about being a rehab nurse as well, is that you help them learn these things that we do take for granted. Tying your shoes, buttoning your shirts, those things that we do every day and don't even think about right. that they have to relearn, and it's a struggle for them, you know, so we're there just to kind of help coach them along and teach them how to do it again for themselves. Mm -hmm. And it can be very frustrating at times, so sometimes we're their little cheerleader as well to kind of kind of help them out. Yeah, definitely. And this this is a one of a kind rehab center absolutely. in this area. Tell me about that. Capital Region, you know, this is pretty unique. Yeah, absolutely it is. So we are a unit here um, that is unique. No other hospital around this area has their own inpatient rehabilitation unit. Mm -hmm. So it's something very specific to this area for us. And that's, we're pretty proud of that. You yeah. know, we have great staff here to help take care of those patients. And it's the care that they can really get here close to home, mm -hmm. making it easier for their family members to come and see yeah. them here too. Definitely. Well, this place is huge. There's actually yeah. a whole other room that we're going to go into in mm -hmm. just a little bit. I think it's pretty cool. It's set up like a kitchen. Another it thing is. that you really take yeah. for granted every day. Yeah, moving absolutely. around in the kitchen. So we're going to check that out when we come back. For now, I'll send it back to you guys. Thanks. You're watching KRCG 13 live at sunrise. Welcome back. For those with a disabling disease or injury, getting around at home can be difficult. Ryan Rumbaugh joins us live from Capital Region Medical Center, where teams are working to improve daily lives. Good morning, guys. Happy Wellness Wednesday. We're talking about a pretty cool topic here at Capital Region this morning. I'm joined by Heather. Good morning. Good morning. Now, we're talking about inpatient rehab. So yes. what are we doing in the kitchen? Well, as, long, as well as what Amanda was saying, we help people patients get back to their everyday activities and sometimes that includes cooking okay. and you know so getting back to being able to cook and work in the kitchen so maybe using the walker and how do you get something from the oven to the sink or something safely um, and mm -hmm. how they problem solve you know we have patients cook actual things like eggs or cookies or, or brownies you you or brownies, brownies. <laughs> we always love brownie day here <laughs> um, or you know in, in problem solving their safety and so that they can go home and be independent as possible mm -hmm. yeah we were talking earlier this, these are a lot of things that you take for granted every day yeah absolutely when you're healthy and then when something happens to you you have to go back to square one right and, and it varies between you know sometimes we were talking about earlier about somebody having a stroke versus somebody um, like having a hip replacement or after a car accident or something and how that varies and, mm -hmm. and what that looks differently okay so you are an occupational therapist yes, tell me 
what you do kind of on a day-to-day -day basis? So, like I say, we help everybody get back to everyday activities, and, so, and that's a lot of times bathing and dressing. So these little tools over here kind of help us help patients do that if they can't reach their feet or they're not supposed to reach their feet. I because, can't say I know what this is. Um, that's just <laughs> called a dressing stick, but that helps, like, sometimes pull clothes up or there's okay. a shoehorn on the other end. Um, and the being able to get dressed sometimes is very important to people mm -hmm. and so they don't have to help, you know, their spouse doesn't have to help them yeah. pull up their pants or something. Yeah, I'm sure losing that independence isn't yeah. very fun. Right, absolutely. What is this thing? That is called a sock aid and actually if you can put the sock on this end and kind of lower it down to your feet with oh my that gosh. and then Oop, turn it around the other way. There you just go. Scoop it up. Yep, and then pull it up over your foot. Wow. And then that sock comes up all, all as far as you need to. That's nice that you have these tools to help yeah. them do, you know, again, those those things that we take for granted, those basic things. Now we've got this, of course, I've been playing around with this all morning. This helps, <laughs> right. you know, grab things mm -hmm. and, and you don't have to put reach. clothes on or even pick up things. You know, if you drop a, a random Kleenex on the floor and mm -hmm. somebody at home by themselves or if they're at a fall risk, you know, they can use that grabber to pick that up and they don't have to bend, you know, and that risk the chance of them getting dizzy. Right. or falling and you know get another injury or accident yeah so. so this is like this is a full functional kitchen and you said you teach people I mean yeah, using a walker you might think it would be pretty easy you know right now but right. when you're injured you teach people how to use this right? right absolutely you know you have to be able to patients have to keep both hands on there and how do you cook when you're keeping both hands on there you know the the cognitive strategies to you know maneuver from the walker to the sink and move things into the dishwasher and be or, safe and too. be safe and decrease that risk for fall and we talk about all the time with occupational therapy physical therapy nursing talks about it you know mm -hmm. that's the big a big thing for rehab is you know yeah. decreasing that fall and further injury and yeah this is a great this is a great part of the rehab yeah. oh and we have a great place here it's it's just awesome that we have this wonderful yeah. kitchen and yeah and definitely around. and this facility is huge so if you didn't tune in before we're gonna head back into the other room which is huge. We're going to talk to another occupational therapist when we come back, but for now, we'll send it back to you guys. Well, for patients disabled by disease or injury, losing independence is one of the hardest pills to swallow. Ryan Rumba joins us live with a rehabilitation team dedicated to improving daily life. Good morning, guys. Yes, I'm at Capital Region Medical Center in Jefferson City, and we're talking about a great unit they have here to get people working at home on their own. I'm here this morning with Jason. Good morning. Good morning. Now you are a physical therapist. We've yes. been talking all morning. We are in the inpatient rehab unit, right? Correct. Okay, tell Correct. our friends at home just tuning in, what's, what's that all about? Um, we help uh, get patients uh, back to being as independent as possible and get them from the hospital environment uh, back to home, functioning, mm -hmm. functioning safely. Um, and independently. Yeah, and these are patients that are currently in the hospital, correct? Correct. Yeah, the, the patients uh, stay here in rooms as opposed to outpatient where they would come in and then go back home. Right. Yeah. Okay, so you guys have a lot of great tools here to help people. And we were chatting yes. a little bit ago, these are a lot of things that we might take for granted every single day that people have to relearn, right? Yes, that's true. Okay, so you've got some nice stairs here. Tell me about what you do with patients on here. Yeah, um, well, you know, we have to assess um, all different type of uh, walking surfaces um, and home environments you know they may have steps to get in and out of the house or to a to a second level um, so we have some stairs here that we can work on with the with the patient mm -hmm. um, and uh, um, practice that so they can get in and out yeah and this this uh, piece of machinery over here that helps people in wheelchairs tell me about that uh, correct yeah so um, a uh, muscle that they uh, that patients really use when they do sit to stands um, and uh, rising from a chair is their triceps. Okay. Um, so we can have the patient in that machine and they can uh, extend their elbows and do uh, arm push downs okay. and strengthen their triceps to help them that in that area. Yeah, and we've got another piece of equipment over here. Tell me what this one's all about. Uh, that there is a, a mechanical lift, mm -hmm. um, and we use that at times uh, uh, if a patient is very debilitated, you know, and the family really wants to uh, to get the patient home soon mm -hmm. that's an option that we can use uh, to keep the caregiver and the patient safe okay um, so there's a sling that attaches to that and around the patient and they can mechanically lift the patient up and okay, down so you're not lifting another person correct and risking your safety as well correct yeah. okay yeah all right and this is where you do your gymnastics routines correct <laughs> correct <laughs> 
<laughs> Tell me what you use this for. This is uh, the parallel bars. It's really a, a common staple in any uh, physical therapy gym, mm -hmm. um, but it's a good place to start for ambulation training uh, because it's a secure environment. It's something stable that they can hold on to, um, and uh, we can really work on uh, their ambulation ability mm -hmm. and uh, get them independent as possible. And we've got Bosu Ball. We've worked a lot. I'm live at Sunrise with the BOSU as an exercise equipment, uh -huh. but this is for rehab too. Correct. Yeah, we can use it uh, for balance training mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes starting out just balance training on the flat floor yeah. uh, surface is a good place to start, but as they get more advanced, uh, we can go to the BOSU ball and um, it it gives them a surface that is constantly variable. Right. So they're standing there and it's constantly moving and they have to use their musculoskeletal system to, uh, um, to correct yeah. and keep them upright. Well, definitely very cool equipment. I gotta thank you for showing me around this morning. I've learned yeah. so much. I always learn so much when I come to places like this. So You're thank welcome, you we're that. glad to have you. Yeah, and I hope you learned a little bit at home too. For now, we'll send it back to you guys.